Welcome to the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries at the Hanover Fair 2017. Um, we are here at the Technical Forum and right now we are having presentations regarding fuel cells and their components. Um, my name is Muriel Burkas and the upcoming presentation will be regarding the latest developments on graphite bipolar plates and gaskets. Please welcome with me on stage the CEO of Eisenhut GmbH, Dr. Thorsten Hickmann. The stage is yours. Uh, we're looking forward to your presentation and please save some questions for after the presentation. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, yes, also from my side, uh, warmly welcome. Um, first of all, who are we? I just give a very short in, uh, introduction of our company. So we have three business lines. The one line is the mold making business. Uh, this is a traditional business which we do for more than 70 years now. The second line is productions of small series of rubber and plastic parts. And the third line, that's what we are here, this is components of fuel cells and batteries. So we can cover the whole supply chain in our company. Uh, this is also important for development work. We can do the uh, CAT CAM. Uh, we have several working stations over there. Then uh, the machining uh, for the molding and also for prototyping and milling. And later on, the production of parts, which means uh, uh, the fuel cell components as well as also plastic and rubber parts. And for the fuel cell components, we have built up the technology within the last years. This means compounding, that means that we make all the materials by ourselves, uh, which we have a lot of uh, knowledge now, how to go to with certain materials or to it, then injection molding, and then additional functions such as gasket integration or marking or quality inspection services we can do as well. Okay, um, yeah, the, this is an example uh, where we uh, do, can do uh, the injection molding. This is uh, injection molding from plastic parts, you know probably. Uh, this is a fully or highly automatic process where you only need to uh, take care that the plates get out safely, but this you can do also with certain handlings and vacuum systems. And uh, the next step would be the integration. That means that um, could be possible to integrate a gasket onto it. So you, at the end of the day, when you have your stack, you only have two components. On one hand, the membrane unit, and on the other hand, you have the bipolar plate with integrated gasket, and everything is ready for use. For the bipolar plates, we can recommend to our customers certain uh, issues which are important to have. The first uh, thing is that the geometry needs to be in a certain way so you can make a mold out of it. So you need certain uh, demolding angles and uh, uh, some certain radius so that uh, it, is, it will be possible to go into this technology. And then um, what we also <coughs> uh, recommend is, uh, especially for the graphite components, is that with uh, a few numbers of plates, it is already worse to think about molding. So we say to our customers, usually depending on size, but from 200 plates on, it is possible to use a simple compression mold and then you can cut the cost tremendously from uh, let's say 100 euros per plate up to 20 or down to 20 euros. This means um, uh, if you have to mill the plate and do the compression molding first, you have somewhere around 100 euros. And later on, when you go into the when you go into the um, compression molding technology, you only have somewhere around 20 euros. This is certainly depending strongly on size. And uh, this is only for a certain size like this, not for very big plates, but it is still possible. And which is also uh, important, this, the next issue is the tolerances. So when we go away from milling plates into molding it, we need certain tolerances. The tolerance will be bigger. And this is also a very important issue to consider that uh, 
um, tolerances. This is also very, uh, very common sense or very common sentence to say tolerances cost money. So the finer the tolerances are, the, uh, the more important or the more costly it gets. So if the customer is going to accept higher tolerances, the prices will come down. So this is a very uh, simple sentence, not only for bipolar plates, but for all other components in the technical world. And uh, once again, compression molding is much more, is also a good way to start into this technology. Later on, when we shift to 10,000 or 20 or 50,000 plates, it makes sense to go to injection molding, but uh, to start with, that's what we recommend our customers to have this immediate uh, cost cut uh, to start with compression molding and later on go to injection molding as well. What we also look is uh, certain materials. Um, the main aim in this field is to, go to develop new materials to certain customer requirements. Um, when you look at graphite uh, bipolar plates, we often have the issues where to use it. And uh, I often get asked, uh, do you also have it in the automotive sector? And then I regularly say, well, in the automotive sector, the metal bipolar plates are mostly or are more used, but nevertheless, um, there are still a lot of applications such as domestic heating, such as independent power supply. And uh, we are also very strong in the redox flow batteries. So everywhere, in every place where you have additional requirements such as uh, acid resistance or higher temperature, it makes sense to look uh, into this graphite composite plates because they are, um, they are very good usable f f in strongly aggressive atmosphere and there is no corrosion possible. And that's one of the reasons why we look at new plastic material and uh, we often have customer coming and saying, okay, I need for this and this application uh, material and we now uh, started uh, for a certain time now to go into customized materials. So what you want to have, we can deliver it to your requirements. In addition, we can uh, offer the certain additional uh, measurement device such as electrical conductivity on the left hand side or uh, the uh, quality inspection, thickness variation, thickness tolerances and so on. This is all possible within, uh, within one step. At the end of the day, our issue or our philosophy is you get the plates delivered by us and you can use them straight away with no additional testing for your usage. You can take them out of the uh, storage issues and put it directly into the stacks. We make the uh, quality work for you. We make the documentation for you. You can have it upon request or you can have it directly with deliveries together. That's our philosophy. And since we are also very strong in the automotive sector, I mean, this is a state of the art in automotive business. So we are not just doing that what the automotive industry is asking from us. And that's uh, our everyday business. What we can also offer is on the left hand side is uh, do if you have a gasket issue, we can uh, do a certain testing for uh, gasket tightness. That means is the gasket 100% working or do we need additional functions? So uh, we can put a vacuum in it, we have it automatically controlled and then we can find out to a certain time that the gasket is working and then it will work also in the stack atmosphere. That finally, we often um, laser engraving for the plates in order to have 100% uh, traceability, also with uh, barcode system and so on. And additionally, we, we offer to our customers the so-called gasket questions, uh, so-called one-piece technology. So we cut the desired shape out of the gasket. We make certain frames 
we call it picture, picture frames. So we make a certain frame and afterwards uh, the final gasket shape is uh, cut out of this uh, frame. This is a very common technology, especially in the development work. So you only have to pay for the gaskets, no molding, no other steps. And uh, you can start straight away with your development work for flat gasket to this. Yeah. We test our system. This is a little bit older example, but if you look at our booth, you can see also, or we can show you also the recent examples that um, the system's work is not only done by the bipolar plate, but for the whole stack. So we have all uh, in our company own test platforms where we can do the running of fuel cells, especially in the high temperature PEM fuel cell business, but also in other applications. Here are some of our customers. And then finally, I just want to introduce you to two new projects. We are actually working on it in order to show you um, what's going on. The one is uh, a second step development uh, of electrically and thermically conductive plastic compounds with additional functions. That means for the applications of redox flow batteries, of fuel cells, and also of heat exchangers in corrosive uh, atmospheres, we can work on this issue. And uh, our part is to develop together with the research institute in the University of Aachen and also the research institute of the, uh, in Dresden, the EPF. Uh, we're working together with uh, them in order to uh, have the final customers such as um, <coughs> radio flow companies, fuel cell companies, and uh, heat exchanger companies to that uh, application. And the second issue is that we're working at, uh, on permanent uh, production. That means uh, extrusion of bipolar plate. This is uh, f especially for redox flow business. So um, the idea is also here to cut the cost. And uh, we, in this project, we are in developing to, together with the Research Institute of the uh, University of Klausthal and the uh, Zentrum für Brennstoffzelltechnik, the material compounds, and together with uh, um, with the company Centroplast, we are making the process. And the final customer is the ThyssenKrupp. A company which is going to build up big, very big, large scale uh, redox flow battery in a square meter scale. So the plates are going to be two meters long, one meters in uh, witness, and the thickness of about six millimeters, all of graphite compound. And they want to build up big halls with this technology in order to get a storage capacity in the megawatt uh, area. So this is. Uh, this is the future for tomorrow, but it is very close since they are strongly working or we are strongly working in this project. Well, this was a small overview. Thank you for your attention. And uh, if there are some questions, I would be happy to answer them. Thank you very much. Are there any questions for Dr. Hickman? Not yet. Good. Okay. So um, he will be at the booth uh, number D59. So if you want to pass by, see some more examples or have questions later, please do not hesitate to pass by. Thank you very much for your time. There are two more presentations today at the Technical Forum. The next one will start uh, at 22.04. Um, it will be held by Dr. Eva Raven nielsen uh, and she will talk about testing and demonstration of fuel cells and hydrogen technologies at DTU. So please stay with us, help yourself with some more coffee or refreshing drinks, and uh, see you in a few minutes. Thank you. <laughs>